hi friends uh, welcome back to my uh, channel so today i'm going to take you through how to you know uh, uh, schedule a meeting with zoom and how to attend a meeting uh, through zoom so this uh, through this i'll take you through the entire process like downloading installing and setting it up and then we'll go uh, through step by step procedure to see what are all options available with zoom So this is how the uh, screen looks like. So when you launch the Zoom application, you have this four option. It's very simple uh, uh, app to use. So it's being widely used now for a lot of meetings. So personal, in schools, in offices, a lot of place this is used because it's very simple to use, easy to use. So we have four, four options here. So new meeting. So when, whenever we are planning to schedule a meeting, we look for all these options. So it is very simply given in the in the form of icons in the as soon as you launch the application. So here you see new meeting. So you can on the fly create a new meeting. You can join any meeting with the once you have the meeting ID with you and you can schedule a meeting. So once you logged in and created your account, you can schedule a meeting here and you can also share your screen to if you have any slides to present or in case you have any issues that you want someone to look into your uh, laptop or your mobile, you can share your screen. So they'll suggest what to do. So, so, so such uh, things can be done with Zoom. So here like uh, for windows like when you want to download it for windows you have to search for uh, zoom meeting for windows 10 so it um, uh, and the first option shows download for windows so you go and download it and once you download it shows like it's uh, download is completed and it takes you to the zoom's main uh, page here home page here so then uh, once you click so go to your um, downloads in your laptop and click uh, just click and uh, install that so it uh, it's very simple process to install so this is how once it's installed you will have a desktop shortcut icon there so through the uh, desktop icon so maybe i can show you here so once i go to the uh, desktop i see the zoom app here so i click that and see all these options as i showed in the uh, slide here so i'll go to the next screen here so this is how a uh, meeting request so if you want to join a new meeting so your friends or your from your company or from uh, your kids school you'll receive this message you'll say that the school is inviting you for a scheduled meeting they have the time they have the topic they have the time to attend and they have the link so uh, directly if you have the app installed so directly when you click on this link it directly takes you to the meeting so no worries no need to enter anything or in case you you want to you want to remember this meeting id and enter it you can do that so both way you can attend the meeting so here and here is the option so here when you join the meeting so here is the option so when you click on join from the zoom app so join from the zoom app it takes you to the enter meeting id or the so we have the list of meeting ids here listed and so this is how you join the meeting here so let me go back to the slide so you just uh, then uh, next page it asks for the when you join through the link it will not uh, it will directly land you to the meeting page if you are going via meeting id it will go to the next page where you have to enter the meeting password then this is how the meeting uh, screen looks like this uh, takes you to the meeting actual meeting uh, page where you see this option so initially it will gives a pop-up showing that join with computer audio so you need to click this uh, and uh, set, set this automatically join with computer so whenever you are joining with them uh, through a laptop you, you can select this option you can join here so this is how the final screen looks like right? you have a lot of options here so first uh, you can see that uh, participant id here and um, you can see that who is talking here so the person who is like we, we have like multiple participants you will see who is talking your name will be listed here this is the meeting topic so whatever the meeting topic uh, they have given will be listed here the host name will be listed here the password for the meeting and also the invite link is there in case you want to invite someone else you can do that 
and here is the options like join with audio and join with the other options like whatever speakers you have connected so through that you can uh, mics you have through that you can connect it and you can start the video so once you start the video you can see uh, you can see yourself and uh, most probably if the video if it is a video meeting like a lot of people might have joined like few people uh, prefer to join through video to talk so few people don't want to show their video so that's why there's an option to you know enable and disable the video here and you can see the like, participant slaves how many how many participants are there in the meeting so just click on this link and you will on the right hand side it will display who are all participating there and then you can uh, so while in the meeting if you are asked to share something so you can share your screen here so you can show your content anything if you want to present then there's a chat option also so more option you click there's a chat option so you can go and chat with your friends so here is um, the option so i have clicked i this first uh, window this space shows the participant list how many participants are there this is zoom zoom group chat so this here you can chat you can to you can select specific person from the participant list to send a message or you can send a message to common if uh, so in case uh, there is a big meeting so if you, have, if you have any questions you can just type in your questions here so it's not necessary that host answers it if anyone else from the meeting knows they will answer the uh, question here so you get immediate answers through the chat so simultaneously you can chat also this is one of the so this is very simple and easy to use uh, application so it is very pleasing app so that uh, everyone easily understands what to do and uh, it, it, it easily works for everyone so so this is like sign up page so when you sign up zoom first uh, takes your uh, date of birth here so i have entered the date of birth here and you can uh, only sign, sign up for free it, uh, it asks for your email address so you need to enter a valid email address it goes to the your uh, it says that uh, we have sent uh, so when uh, it want to check make sure zoom want to make sure that you have uh, used a valid email id so so that your signing sign up process is completed um, correctly so you need to go to your email so there's my email there asking you to you know activate the account so once you click you are activated so it again goes to this page it asks for like are you signing on behalf of your school or you so because if there is a school then it's it's um, it have some other options uh, to enter so if it is self then you can directly say no and continue here that's what you go to uh, the zoom page you, you can uh, you know, once because you have entered your date of birth and your email address now you have to enter all other details here you have to create a proper account here so you have to enter your first name last name password and confirm password here for the meeting so then don't uh, don't zoom alone so it's asking you to invite your friends to do a meeting here to check so so the uh, the, uh, the purpose of you downloading and installing and uh, signing up with zoom is like you want to schedule a meeting or you want to uh, ask your friend invite uh, your teammates to join a meeting so you, you can just directly enter their email address and ask them to join the meeting so you can skip this test uh, step and this is your personal meeting url so so this url you can share it with your friends for any time meeting so on this slide you can create the meeting and join the meeting so this is how this uh, link works so and uh, for you this is the uh, actual profile so whatever your uh, personal meeting id is shown here your link is shown here so in case you want to show, share it to anyone so you have a meeting common meeting id and uh, meeting capacity is also shown here how many uh, people you can invite so this is the settings option here so your profile option here so personal meeting is uh, id is one id which is common you can use it for all the meeting or you can generate uh, so when you schedule a meeting there's an option to use the personal meeting id or you can generate the meeting ids on the fly so uh, usually the companies um, corporate companies uh, prefer not to use a uh, personal meeting id so whenever they schedule a meeting there's a uh, there's a, a meeting id generated whenever you create a schedule a meeting so this is the meetings page so you will have all the meetings listed here if you are scheduled for a meeting so all the meetings will be listed here you can directly click the link and join
so this is how zoom meeting works so this is the actual zoom meeting window here so as i said when you go and schedule so these are the options here so so i as i said uh, you can use the personal meeting id here or generate it automatically and you can configure a password for the meeting so it is automatically generated but in case you want you can generate um, uh, you can change the password here and there are other options here which you can select deselect so this is the join also you can see as soon as in, in case you get a request from your friend to join a meeting if you have this app you can just enter the meeting id and you can enter your name who you are joining because the person who are inviting should know that who is joined actually so this is the one so you can that so this can be used to app can be used to share the screen on the fly so if you have the meeting id you can just click this and enter the meeting id you can share the screen to your friends or your uh, colleagues to you know look into some um, or share some content of your desktop or you can you want to show some uh, issues that you are facing then that can also be checked by your friend you know, sitting remotely so this is all about the zoom uh, meeting app so very fantastic app this is so very easy to use please do use uh, go to this go through this video to you know uh, understand how to use it so in case you have any queries please uh, uh, use the comments window to add your comments and kindly please make sure you subscribe this video i'll be posting i'll be back with more videos thank you guys thank you for your time and thank you for watching bye